so we hit up our buddy Larry from P2 Industries to make us some rails because Evan wanted to put pegs on his pit bike and then try and grind them like a BMX bike. Larry made massive, massive rails. To give you the perspective. Dude, yeah. Stand next to I'm it. six feet tall. It's gonna be a drop if you fall off. Do we have any mattresses? I am a little bit worried because I've never done anything with pegs on a BMX bike, ever. You've never grinded a rail in your life? No. You grinded up on a couple dudes? at the club that one time. <laughs> Jesus. So we got the rainbow rail, which is 20 feet, nose to tail. And then we've got one that's a little less intimidating, which is still 20 feet, but it's like a foot and a half off the ground. So if you fall off, you're not gonna have a bad day. That one might be a different story. This one looks very doable. This looks like a little rail that some kid would have in front of his house. Yeah, it's still pretty long. It's still 20 feet long, but yeah. It is kind of cool though. It does add a new element to the pit bike track. Enough thinking guys, it's time to do it. I think start with the small rail, obviously. Unless you guys want to work in reverse order. Let's go to the big one first, then the small one will be easier. <laughs> I'd love for our main stunt man to be here, but he is um, sleeping. Well, it is noon. You know, you're right. To be fair, it is early still. It's 11.30. Yeah, that's What's up with you freestyle guys? Both of you wearing jerseys today? I'm not a freestyle guy. I don't know who told you that. You're a stunt guy though. Yeah, I'm a stunt guy. Whoa. Easy. Yeah, he makes that look easy, honestly. We need someone out here that makes it look not easy. Seems like I'm the man for the job. Goes for a feeble grind first try. <laughs> oh, yeah! oh! Mike's on the phone with his agent right now. He's upping his price. Yeah, man, you gotta at least give me fifty dollars per episode. <laughs> they got me out here before noon. You wanna hit the biggie? I suppose. Almost made it, oh, dude. Yeah, you almost good. had it. Definitely kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Yeah, Let's go! Bro. Dude, Easy. Dude, that even looks like a grind. Yeah. That is yeah. legit. It looked like a full blown rainbow rail. Woo! I'm so stoked on that. Full I got blown. bad news though, dude. You made it look too easy. Yeah, yeah uh, you did. Somebody should drive the smart car off the Ken van. I kind of like having it up there. It's cool. I do too, but I'd love to see that thing jump off. Yeah. You want to do it? Can we add a little more dirt? Because so, like, I feel like... I'll just do it. Mike's the new stunt guy. Holy, it is barely on there. Holy crap, did the wind push it? <laughs> we probably should get oh, it down. Shit. We have had a couple storms, dude. That thing's barely hanging on. Yeah, now that you say that, it might actually not drive off. Cause like that's... Probably slide off the side and end up on the roof. Why is it so rusty in here? It's like we left the window open. Oh! Hey! Put your seatbelt on before you do anything more. Seatbelt. Put the other one on too for good measure. Funny, <laughs> 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 dude. I gave like an old man. Oh. Everything but smooth. <laughs> it jumped like three times, bro. Yeah, at one point you were airborne, I think after the front tires hit the ground and then they bounced you back up. What if we tried to rainbow rail this? Die, probably. I think it'll just, the rail will just die. I think it would work. It technically could grind. I think someone should do it. Yeah, I was kind of joking when I said that. I've never been more serious about anything. You want to do it? 
I'm not a driver, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's much skill involved in this Battle. one. I just gotta say, absolutely nothing about the trajectory of this makes sense. You will see in the opposite. Nothing. I think it looks perfect. This is one of many things we do where I'm like, I, yeah, I know it's gonna work, but I, I'm kind of sketched to do it. Holy. This will be the world's first smart car grind. God damn, that's a lot scarier when you fucking drive up to it. What do you guys think? I think someone better hurry up and do it. Standing around, burning daylight. I took the battery off. The car is getting ready to go, Ben. You're getting pissed. Dude, I'm less nervous to do this in the smart car than I am on the pit bike, to be honest. I think the pit bike's less dangerous. Boy, Slim says oh, less dangerous? That's me. We need to put five point harnesses in this thing if we're gonna keep doing this. I talked to everyone and they're really excited. Good. All right. Okay, let's do this. I think you just jumped it. I jumped it? <laughs> My heart is racing so fast right I, now. I cannot even believe I was worried about it. Oh my god. You ground the back on it. Yep. I'll, I'll We're counting it. And that couldn't have been any smoother. I mean this, I'm watching it back on my phone. This is straight butter. Yeah, I'm going back into retirement. Hey, it. call me next time you guys need a smart car stunt. <laughs> I just sent that video to the guy who made the rail and I go, pit bike was lame so we did it with the smart car. <laughs> Good welds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've had this rule in place for a while now. Nobody is allowed to park in front of this door because we have so much stuff coming in and out and uh, it's just a pain if somebody's car is parked here because we always have to move it. Ken doesn't think that this rule applies to him and has been parking here for like the last year and it's, it's not that big of an issue besides for the fact that Ken's car is not a normal car where you can't just get it and move it. You have to have like his phone closer to it or like this special key card to move in. It's just always a pain in Try the ass. Try open it. He's got this thing locked up like Fort Knox. And I've been telling him, if you keep parking in front of this door, I'm gonna get it towed. I think he thinks I'm joking. Hi, this is Ashley, how can I help you? Hi, Ashley. Um, I need to get a car towed that is illegally parked in my business parking lot. And how long has it illegally been parked there? Um, about a day off and on for the past year. Oh goodness, this sounds like a nuisance for sure. It definitely has been. All right then, so I will have one of the guys get it out there and we will get it back to our yard. Awesome, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the key that you need to move the car. Ryan stole it from him without him knowing, which is amazing. And we've been waiting for the perfect moment to use it. This is the time. Oh, mad. I hope he remembers this next time he parks in front of the no parking door. <laughs> so do you guys have like a back lot that you're bringing this to or? Yeah, we'll just bring it to our impound lot. This thing's got cameras all over it and I'm sure it's already notified him that it's like been moved, you know? He's probably <laughs> flying home. Yeah, he's gonna show up any minute. We got a very small window here. Good to go? Good. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you. All right, keep the cameras rolling when he rolls up because he's going to be hot. So, Ben, are you going to say it? Oh, the Tesla that was parked uh, in the no parking spot? Oh, do you want to play that game, buddy? Where is your car? Where'd you put it? Check the app. Is that a tow truck? It is on a tow truck. Are you, do you really want to play this game? Is this a game you want to start? Hey, you parked in the no parking spot. Go get it back then. I, it's not in my name. I can't get a car out of impound that's under your name. No. 
911? You call your 911? <laughs> <laughs> my car was just stolen. Where's my car at? It's getting impounded. I don't think you can call the police on a towing company for stealing your car. <laughs> you really want to play this game. Ken, I don't know what to tell you besides for you got to get your car at impound. It's uh, 50 bucks every day that you leave it there. <laughs> I'm not fucking paying it. Well, how are you planning on getting it back then? I don't know why you're surprised or mad. Because it's a waste of time. I think they close at five, so you might want to go and get it. Otherwise, they're going to charge you for two days. Okay, let's go. Cars <laughs> okay. and Moorhead. Moorhead? Yeah. That's Jesus Christ! You could have called anyone from DL. <laughs> they were the fastest ones to come. Oh my God. <laughs> That was the only, it was the really only wasting my time now. ASAP, because I have dinner with the family. So, you gotta go quick, Ryan. Just tell them you got your car towed. Uh, CJ, I'm not gonna fucking explain this. I feel like it was a matter of time. You break the law one to many I'm gonna, times. okay, Ben, I dare you to park there. Why would I do that? There's no parking sign. I dare you to park there. Dan, were you actually gonna call 911? <laughs> Do you want me to right now? <laughs> can you claim that a tow truck stole your car? No, I can claim that some f***ing idiot business partners are an asshole today <laughs> and that my car has been stolen. It would make everybody's life around me miserable if I'm going to be miserable. Ken, turn the alarm off so the tow truck doesn't have to listen to that every minute. That's your problem. That is not- You towed the car. This guy is just trying to do his job to feed his family. Ken, turn that off. How is this his fault? <laughs> he got involved in it. <laughs> <laughs> it was your negligence you parked there, but now that you- Ryan, don't f***ing say that. You were in the car when I parked it. Why? Well, oh, 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 well. <laughs> Ken, you can't deflect illegally parking your car on your passenger Why? for you being in there. <laughs> I guess that's how it works. For a year though, you've been doing this. It's company policy. It's been company yeah. policy. It's a real uh, He knew the rules. I think you might be getting some other calls in the next couple months. <laughs> oh. So. But I, I think only I'm the not... owner of the property can call it in, which is bad. Yeah, right? no, I'm also oh. an owner. So. Oh. No. Your name is not the only one on the deed. It will be after today. <laughs> yeah, when I, when I zoom in on your house, it does say Big Ken's Barbecue and Foot Massage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to delete that, that, but. You want to know what the bill is? It's not pretty. Um, Ben, you got your, I don't have my wallet on me, so you got your- Well, then your car's gonna sit there for another day. Well, this is your problem, oh, so- It's not my car, it's not my problem. This is your problem. <laughs> I'm gonna make it your problem if you're not. No. Okay, we're, we're just gonna sit here until you get your wallet out. How much is it? 505. That one's gonna hurt, Ken. Okay, can I, come on. <laughs> I don't have my uh, wallet. All right. Oh. And then do you have proof of ownership? Um. That was just a business who? So who made the phone call? What are you gonna call the well, cops there, on me right now? There's a bill for it. So. Got you last. <laughs> I don't get why this is still my fault. You just wait. I'm kind of like thinking about getting a ride home with him because I already hey. ate, and you guys just talked. Dad. About oh. Dad. Ken? Did you learn your lesson? What's, what is that? I'm, I'm just saying, be careful where you park. <laughs> Did you learn your lesson? Honestly, we're gonna, we're gonna play a game, so. What game? Is this Squid Games? What game are we playing here? If you wanna start towing cars, we're gonna start towing cars. We're starting a towing company. <laughs> <laughs> I can promise you one thing. Ken ain't never parking in front of that door ever again. Yeah.